Hey friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Tea Time with Tracy and Violet. There she is. And it is Wednesday morning. The kids just caught the bus for school. I had a shower earlier. I folded a monster laundry pile. And I finished a book last night, so I'm about to pick up another one. I'm going to pick up this one. I need to see what the big whoop is about because I see a lot of people talking about this book. I don't know when it came out, probably just in the past year or two or three. I really don't know, but it seems quite popular. I guess it's very gruesome and very good. So I need to get on that train. But this is my first kind of reading vlog. I've never done one before, so it'll probably be over a span of today and tomorrow. Just checking in to let you know. Um, anyways, I'll read the back of it. On a scorching hot summer day in Elkwood, Alabama, Claire Lambert staggers naked, wounded, and half blind away from a scene of uh, atrocity. She is the sole survivor of a nightmare that claimed her friends, and even as she even as she prays for rescue, the killers, the family of cannibalistic lunatics, are closing in. And then it goes on and on. So I don't want to read it all because I don't want to know really what goes on. I know there is cannibalism in this and blood and whatever. But it's not a super long book. Um, 200, well almost 300 pages, a good sized book. 269 pages so I'm gonna pick this up now I'm not gonna be able to read all day because I have a house to run and a troop of kids to prepare for I've got supper to cook and a million other things to do but I'm gonna sit down a minute maybe a half hour just to get this this party started and we'll see we'll see what happens all right masks on everybody <laughs> Alright friends, well I've been just laying here on the couch. I got up and done a few things around the house. Defrosted some hamburger for some chili I'm going to make after for the family for supper. Violet's here with me. I'm cuddled with a blanket and I'm on page 50. It's still, it's like quarter after 11 in the morning. So I only got 50 pages in but I did get some stuff done around the house. But this book is pretty interesting and it's got me hooked in right from the get-go. It's kind of, I don't want to say action-packed, but the story is very interesting, and there's a lot of disturbing things going on in it. It's not scary in the sense, uh, like, it's not scaring me or anything, but, um, yeah, it starts off with this girl coming out of the woods on a really hot, hot day. She's naked, she's covered in blood, she's missing some fingers and toes and an eyeball and stuff like that. Violet, get going. And this truck, Violet, she's trying to lick my phone. This truck pulls up, two guys in it, and pretty much takes her to a doctor. I won't get into all the details, but takes her to a doctor. So this story is following her, which has only checked in on her once I think since the very beginning like the beginning and then another spot Violet don't like my armpit and then it's following the story of the two guys that saved her and then it's following the story of the people where she came from that did this stuff to her and a brief little blip about the doctor 
and yeah, it's pretty terrifying in the sense of the whole scenario. Um, and I can finish, I feel like I could finish this whole book tonight if I had the time. This will not take me, you know, more than today and maybe tomorrow to finish because it just seems like that kind of a pace of a story. Things are going on all the time in the stories that they're, even if it switches back and forth between uh, the people, all the storylines are very interesting and I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So I'll check in in a little while, another 50 pages, and let you know if I still feel the same way. I'm done that chili. I was on the phone the whole time, so I just added the stuff, the seasoning mix. It's off the burner now, so it's all done, and it's only 1.04 in the afternoon. That's awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to read a little bit more, because that's what I feel like doing. And while it's chilling, she didn't even come out. She's being lazy bones today, but so am I. So there you go. All right, friends, it is 2.27. I'm going to make myself a coffee. I feel like having a coffee. I'm on page 91. I'm going to go sit outside with Violet. The kids, yesterday the kids got home at like 2.39, which is earlier than, that's the earliest they've been. So if that's going to be the case today, I have just like 10, 10, 12 minutes, something like that. I got my coffee. Oh. Gotta at least look stylish out there, don't I? are eating supper I'm gonna wash out the tub so I can get the tub going for Maze when he's done and yeah because he needs to have a dunk mm. Mm. yeah 7:51. so uh, where did I get to 
I got to page 97. Um, so I haven't really picked up the book since the kids got home to read anymore. I'm going to try to read some more tonight. The kids go to bed at 9 o'clock. Um, but I'm on part two of this book. I didn't realize it was broken up in parts. But I'm putting 77. Um, it starts on part two. So I don't know how many parts are in this. But so far, uh, Claire came out of the woods. She was picked up by two guys. Brought to a local doctor. Almost like a retired doctor. And... Yeah, things ensued. It didn't really talk a whole lot of focusing on her, even though that's kind of the whole, with the story surrounding. It, the first part talked a lot about, um, or it showed where she came from and what happened to her. And then the history of the two guys that picked her up and a little blip about the doctor. And it's janked up, is what I'm saying. This is on the same disturbing kind of level as Anya or Anaya. I read Alborn's um, Story Brother, which I really liked. And by the time you see this, I should have my book review out of that. So I'll put that down below. But um, it's... Like, where she came from was from a specific family. And this family is whackers, crackers, insane. Uh, insane. They, well, I'll, I'll get more into it when I do my official thoughts on the whole book. But they kill people and they eat people. I'll just leave it at that. But they're just horrible, horrible, horrible human beings absolutely but this story started off with her stumbling out of the woods and it's been going non-stop it's not like a full action but the story is just so intriguing from the beginning this is the first book of Keelan Patrick Burke that I've ever read and I was just <laughs> uh yeah I was just Finishing editing my Nova Scotia Living vlog. So I'm taking little clips of that and putting it in here. Just to show you that I read and do other stuff during the day. But when I was reading the back of the book. How I mispronounced a word. I don't know if you can see. Atrocity. But it looked like ah and then atrocity. I meant to say atrocity. Just so you know I can read. So okay. But anyways. Part two is starting off. She's still away, and it's like nine weeks down the road, It's my understanding. So it's, I just started, just started part two. So um, I'm going to try to get to page 200 tonight. This is what I'm envisioning, because when I can plow through a story and it's really got me hooked, and I don't have anybody to hound me after they go to bed, if you know what I'm saying, I'm going to do that. But for now, I'm going to have a sparkling water in a wine glass because I'm fancy huh mm, that's what I'm gonna do but for those interested this is the book I finished last night Scott Thomas's Violet which I will have a blurb on this sometime um anyways yeah I'm gonna have my drink and I don't know I've never done a reading vlog and I don't know if this is a let me know if these are the kind of reading vlogs that you like or not. Because I like to watch reading vlogs of other people. And they show little glimpses of what they do during the day and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm used to vlogging every day. I'm just not used to condensing it down and talking about my books all at the same time. I love it, but, you know. So, anyways, I'm going to get back to reading. Cheers. And I'll check in when I'm at page 150. We'll check in there. All right, friends. Well, it's 1046. Little Missy is still laying here like this. 
like she's the queen bee and there's nothing anybody can say about it. But anyways, I'm at page 150 and it's still in part two. Um, like the first part of the story is just like building up. The second part, like I say, it's nine weeks later. So Claire, she doesn't end up going back to the people, at least now, like still now she's not. She's home with her family, but of course she's, she'll never be the same again. But the members of her fam, like the, her friends that passed, because at the beginning, like she was traveling with her friends, backpacking or whatever. Um, they're showing some stories from them and how they're grieving and things like that. Um, so it's quite interesting. I don't, seems like it's all going to pull together. Like some people are going to try to exact revenge because things didn't pan out for justice as some of the people thought. I'll leave it at that. I won't get into it, but it's really good. I'm enjoying this uh, kind of story. These kind of stories, gruesome, gore, blood, cannibalism, that kind of stuff doesn't scare me at all. It's interesting to read about it. I find it really, they're exciting stories. They're not scary stories to me. But um, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm tired though. I think I'm going to go to bed. I was up early this morning. I was going to try to make it to 200, but I'm tired. I'll get up. I'll finish that book tomorrow. And then we'll sit down with a cup of tea and I'll give you my two cents worth if you... You want to hear it. You want to hear it. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the morning. And she'll see you in the morning. up from where I left it last night, uh, page 150. So I'm going to start reading some. I'm canning some Jacob Cattle Beans this morning. I just washed my deer meat this morning and I'm just waiting for this bad boy to come up to pressure so I can put the timer on. So anyways, I'm going to see what I can get done today. If I wasn't doing this today, I'd probably be further into the book, but I just had jars on my table and I wanted to use them up and why not can some beans? So anyways, let's get reading.
I just took these beautiful beans out of my canners. So you might hear some ping, 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 but I thought you might like to hear it. Oh, I love that sound. Anyways, um, I'm up to page 200. So I read another 50 pages this morning. It's 20 after 12 now. Um, I have 68 more pages and you can guarantee because it's right. Well, the whole story has been like uh, action packed in the sense that it's a super fast pace, like super fast pace. Um, I haven't been bored. I haven't felt like skimming or anything like that. It's yeah, it's I'm digging it, digging it. So I'm on part three now. There must be three parts. Um, like I said, Claire got back to her family, but of course is not quite the same. The other members of the friends that had passed away who suffered the same kind of torture she did, but didn't end up making it. Um, one of them in particular is on a, is on a hunt is all I'll say. So he has some sort of connections to equip himself. He's of a military background and whatnot, but so that's kind of what it's leaning towards. But then it flips to the friggin' crazies that did all the heinous things, and it just it keeps getting crazier and crazier. Now they're quite religious people, supposedly religious Christian, but to the extreme in a certain kind of way. They believe what they're doing is right. They believe what they're doing is pure, um, but they're downright insanity times a million. Listen to these. Listen to them. Just listen. So, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna keep reading. I just wanted to give you a little, little blip. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. And I really want to look into more books by this author because if they are similar to what this book is, I would absolutely read them. Again, gore isn't my factor to go to or trope to go to in order to scare me, but I find it extremely entertaining in the sense, not that I want that in real life, but it's just like, it's, it's like going to see a horror movie or people that like romantic comedies who see something, a movie like that, or read a book like that, or an action movie. People ask, why, why do you read such dark things? And well, I, I've always loved horror movies. I like scary things. It's not that I'm a bad person. It's not that I want this in real life, but that's just a form of entertainment. It's fiction. It's not real, it's fiction. I'll read anything in fiction. So anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I am going to enjoy this melody and the other kids don't get home. Well, the first bus doesn't get home until close to three o'clock this afternoon. So I might get a little more reading in. I'm making chili cheese dogs and chili cheese fries for supper because I made chili yesterday. There's a little leftover. So why not make a big old just warm that up, make some fries in the oven and some hot dogs and they can have at her. So anyways, I'll be back. All right, friends, I'm on page 251 and I'm friggin' dying. I'm out here waiting for the girls to get home on the bus. There's 268 pages in this. I am so close. And I'm on friggin' pins and needles. Maze is outside. My youngest, he's out back uh, on the swing set. And Violet's keeping guard because she's my hellhound. And yeah, just waiting on the bus.
dying. I need to, I need to read the last like three pages so I can settle down, settle the flip down. All right, guys, oh, Violet messed up the blanket, but I just did a book haul video. I'm posting this kin video October 1st, so I'm just trying to get ahead of the game. Um, anyways, I finished kin just after supper, like I was dying, I had to finish it. And I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much, I was looking up other books of him, of his, and I don't know which one to try on. I think I got another book of his somewheres in one of my piles. So I'm going to look that up. But this book was full of gore, very disgusting and disturbing. But it was so fast paced right from the get go. Like it really was. I was very impressed with that because not very many books can do that for me. I really enjoyed it. I'll read, I'll quickly read the back of it now just because I didn't at the beginning, but on a scorching hot summer day in Elkwood, Alabama, Claire Lambert staggers naked, wounded, and half blind away from the scene of atrocity, of an atrocity. She is the sole survivor of a nightmare that claimed her friends, and even as she prays for rescue, the killers, a family of cannibalistic lunatics, are closing in. A soldier suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder returns from Iraq to the news that his brother um, is among the murdered of Elkwood. Uh, in snowbound Detroit, a waitress trapped in an abusive relationship gets an unexpected visit that will lead to bloodshed and send her back to the road, on the road to a past she has spent years trying to outrun. And Claire, the only survivor of the Elkwood uh, master massacre, Haunted by her dead friends, dreams of vengeance, a dream which will be realized as grief and rage turn good people into cold-blooded murderers and force alliances among strangers. Uh, it's time to return to Elkwood. Uh, in the spirit of some ironic horror classic, uh, as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Deliverance, Kin begins to end at the end and studies the possible, the possible aftermath for the survivors of such traumas upon their return to the real world. The guilt, the grief, the thirst for revenge, and sets them on an unthinkable journey back into the heart of darkness. That's so true. This is a perfect, that touches on some of the characters in here, like the soldier. He was the big brother of one of her friends. Uh, the waitress, she is a character in this and yeah it was just there was there was a few different characters in this and they were all very I got sucked into every single one of them it wasn't just about her like she's the um what the story revolves around her story but oh I just I really liked it and the big whoop was worth it was worth the hype it really was i enjoyed it it's not super long the font is small though well like it's it's not yeah it's small but like but i highly recommend this if you are okay with blood with disgusting cannibalistic torturous behavior because that is what is in this and um yeah yeah this it's in the same realm as um Anna Alburn's brother book like in regards to the, the crazy the crazy these guys are probably even a little crazier but they're both crazy but anyways I totally recommend this if you're into horror and I mean, this didn't scare me, but it was like watching a movie, watching a gory movie, like House of a Thousand Dead Corpses or The Devil Reje Devil's Rejects, like the Rob Zombie movies or something like that. That's what this is like. And um, only a bit more because you get some stories from normal people. You don't get normal people stories in those movies, but... 
anyways, yeah. So that's all I want to say about it because I don't want to give a whole bunch away. This was really fun doing a reading vlog. Please let me know if you like them. I'll probably do a few more before I actually post this, so I won't know. But the next book I'm going to read is Hex. Um, it's right over here. This one. So that's going to be my next one that I read. And I'm going to start that tomorrow. But yeah, Kin, thumbs up for me. I would give it five stars if I do ratings. I don't really do ratings. I don't post on Goodreads. I don't do anything like that. But I really enjoyed it and I do highly recommend it. But it's not for the faint of heart. Like if you want a slow burn creepy, this is creepy. It's not slow and it's extreme. But it's right up my alley. So I like all different kinds of horror. And I don't get many of those kind of books. And I really, really enjoyed it. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I didn't even show you her. I was drinking her when I was doing that book haul. But she has gold. I even read into her slippers. Look, look at that. Just look. It's all solid gold. And um, gold up at the top. All on the inside. And that's her uh, skirt or pedestal. Uh, Royal Albert bone china england so anyways i'm gonna say peace love and happiness today and every single day please like share and subscribe if you so choose but if not that's okay too i still love you i still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there i certainly do i really really honest and truly do yes i do so all right guys violet is over there maxing and friggin relaxed and she was over here with that blanket earlier but she jumped up and was barking at Nally when she came downstairs. But, all right, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I might see you tomorrow. Bye. Bloop.